Can I help you? No, I was just looking at the plant. Oh, cool. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I I forget the drawings are there sometimes. My bad. Sorry? Enjoy yourself. What is the picture? Uh, it's a building that uh, is nearby that we're attempting to uh, restore, and uh, it probably can't be restored, so we're going to convert this this house to uh, represent the uh, former eventually. So it's a long-term goal to make it a pavilion, like a Japanese uh, Japanese pavilion. About 24 by 12 feet. Okay. The garden is very Japanese, you know? What was that? The garden has like a Japanese vibe. The one you're designing. Uh, the, the plan is, uh, yeah, it's, it's restoration and of uh, the uh, habitat to be native first and then to qualify for tax breaks that are necessary for keeping the place. Um, affordable and then slowly converting it to a Japanese park. Yeah. What are you doing with the water? On you like you have like a water stream? Um, the water is uh, mostly uh, permeable uh, rock is what we're going to be replacing it with, and then uh, we we probably would have a cistern and a swale sort of situation and uh, rain like a rain garden basically out of the uh, permeable rock that will be used for like the Zen garden kind of thing. Hmm. So uh, mostly my, my wife's uh, land at the moment, so I'm I'm a little bit rusty on her vocabulary of it. Are you do you have a floor plan of what you're designing for the interior of the house? Can you say that again? Do you have a floor plan floor plan of what you are the design for the house inside. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's uh, there is a floor plan. It's the same one it was originally, but um, yeah, there is one for an, an intention. It's not up there at the moment, but it's probably on the web at uh, wilds.org, I think. Um, probably should add it out on the board. So. But as it stands, nothing's uh, changing at the moment. It's just uh, restoration uh, and beautification uh, till till proper permitting is uh, allowed. So for the for the um, you're trying to bring back the house to what 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 it was originally. Is that it? Um, yeah, basically, uh, with a couple of like. Um, with a couple of twists, but yeah, there's there's too much house. There's there's too much house, so we're just trying to take the top floor and restore it. How do you know it was originally? It's called the research pool from LADBS. Ah, uh, you pull the records. Yeah. And then there's the, uh then there's the archives, the downtown LA archives. And then in the newspaper in the 1930s, uh, there's. There's printed uh, printed articles about uh, what was the address. Uh, so they, okay. oh. The street used to be called Husted. And instead of doing the street was once called Husted, H-U-S-T-E-D. So, uh, yeah, it's a hotel out there. The street used to be called Husted, H-O-U-S-T-E-D. And they changed it to Ewing, but when it was hoosted, it was a, it was basically an apartment on top, a, a a bar in the middle that was hidden, and then a house at the bottom. So, and uh, on the uh, the the property above us used to be a ceramics uh, uh, expert who accidentally blew up in his house when his kiln exploded. 
What? The property above you, or like right behind you, is also the uh, ceramics uh, home of the ceramicist. Like behind you, the empty property. Uh, no, keep turning around. Uh, all the way, yeah, that one. Yeah, and the guy blew up there. He like uh, and exploded. The house blew up from a gas leak. And so uh, the art, the artist uh, perished in his own home. And that house used to belong to the same property at one time. That's the only one we really don't don't know exactly look like because it, there's very few records of that one. But that uh, foundation is all as well. So. Can I like design a like a landscape for this? For that area? Like uh, making making some sort of like a plaza or something here. Yeah, that's actually the the, the goal for real. Um, to grow like a lot. There's so much graffiti there. We want to grow uh, things like morning glory and uh, and other native and other native plants with that to overgrow the graffiti to cover it up by draping the ivies and stuff. And then uh, and create the the real goal is less about the house. And, and more about the conservation easement, you know, the, to uh, allow the gardens to uh, to grow into their full form, but overgrown, not not totally wild, but still natural, like disturbed terrain, disturbed habitat, uh, and and let them be part of the general public, uh, everything but the house, you know, open it for a a uh, public garden. So you want to do also this backyard complex? So your your backyard. The one I'm facing, yeah. do you want to into a public thing too? Yes. That's right. How are you going to do that? Through non profit conservation easement. Sorry? Through conservation easement, it's a term that you uh, file oh, okay. to. So once you. To create, it's create a space. Once, what is that? So you mean, once you plant it. And it's like a valuable area then with plants, then they give you an easement the city? Or do you have an easement already? There's uh, there's prescription easement and then there's our conservation easement. Conservation easement is something that you file uh, with the assessor or a clerk. You know? And that's, uh, that's we're in the process of drawing a contract for conservation easement. To give back what we have uh, claim of it to. Oh, okay. What's your name, by chance? Juan. Juan. Uh, my name is Jill. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a, so you're a designer or an architect? Or? Uh, my wife is a is a student of uh, Taliesin West. The architecture school and, I, and I'm a student of the San Francisco Art Institute or a former student I graduated so we are an artist and an artist and an architect uh, together sort of nice. trying to uh, meld uh, our studio practices by giving back as much as we can because we're, we're really not interested in one house it's a the whole neighborhood is a historic preservation overlay and needs needs to be researched and turned into the the Historic Preservation Board of California for for uh, the community at large because there's about 50 houses on this bridge that uh, all qualify for long-term historic preservation. And uh, that's it. with the house 